Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. As we're bringing uh, almost to an end all the different things that we see in the church sanctuary, there's room in the back that we've hardly mentioned at all, and maybe you don't even think about it being here. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a look at it today, and that's the cry room. You'll notice uh, in the back of the church sanctuary, we do have windows that are there where the cry room is, and we'll look in there as well and talk about what the purpose for a cry room is as well. And so the cry room, to get in there, you come in this back little door and come in here. There are a few activities, of course, that are down here for kids to do, and there are a few chairs available in the room as well. But what's really important that we want to talk about is what the purpose of the cry room is. You can see there is a, a one-way window here, so you can watch what's going on in the front of the service as we've been going through all these different um, videos. We've been talking about how our focus is always upon what's happening up there in the chancel area because our focus should always be on God giving His gifts to us. And that's really what the cry room is here for as well. The cry room is designed uh, for parents to take care of their children uh, in the midst of the worship service in a way that allows them to still receive God's gifts. And so uh, if a baby needs to have a diaper changed, uh, right outside the cry room we have a changing table. If uh, a child is hungry and the mother needs to nurse it, we have these rocking chairs and things like that here so that uh, the, the parent, the mom, can still uh, nurse the child while receiving God's gifts in word uh, and watching the service. And so that's what this is for. It's so that we can still be parents at the same time that we're receiving God's gifts. Now what it's not for, uh, this particular room, and maybe this is important for us to hear, this room is not designed uh, to be like a daycare center or to be a place where you just sit the entire service. Um, if your children are noisy, it's okay to come back here to discipline them, but uh, we still want you to be out there in the church sanctuary receiving God's gifts. Um, and you know, uh, I know sometimes as a parent you feel a little nervous if your child is making noise. Uh, I know as a parent myself hearing that, that it can be uh, kind of a challenge. It sounds louder to you than it does to everybody else in the church sanctuary. Uh, but I'd encourage you to keep your children in the church, in the sanctuary, in the worship service, so that over time they learn how to deal with being in church, to learn how to do what happens in church. Maybe a way to think about it is like this. In um, North Dakota, we used to go to University of North Dakota Fighting Sioux hockey games. And uh, there's kind of a liturgy that takes place in the hockey game. When a goal is scored, there's a song that comes on. The fans all do a little bit of a dance in joy and celebration. Uh, when there's the face-off at the beginning of uh, each period, uh, there's a way that the fans act. And the way that you learn how to do all those fan things is by being there and participating. And the first time it might be a little confusing, uh, but after a few times you learn what you're doing and participate yourself. Same thing is true for Nebraska football games or even for uh, basketball and baseball games at University of Nebraska as well. And so the same is true for your children being in worship. It's good for them to be out here in the church sanctuary. If there's an emergency or a need or an uncomfortableness, something you need to deal with, we have this room so you can do so and still watch the worship service, uh, but we encourage you then to take care of the issue, to feed the child, to change the diaper, to discipline the child, and then to come back into the worship service. Something to think about too in our worship service, specifically in regards to kids, is uh, we have so many members of our congregation who it's good for them to also help parents. Uh, if your parents have grown up and moved away to college and you see someone who's in need, uh, you know, talk to that parent and volunteer to help them. We don't have to be alone teaching our children the faith here in church. We have people, congregation members, brothers and sisters in Christ who are there to help us out. So don't be afraid to help out. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need help, uh, because we are one. We are the body of Christ. And so this is the, um, the cry room. That's what it's here for. 
That's how we use it. It is there to help us watch what's going on in the worship service, even as we deal with our children and helping them learn how to participate in the worship service. If you have any questions, do let me know. God's blessings on your day.